What's going on everybody? So, got the new body for the Landy done. Uh, this was my first scale build. Thought I'd show it to you guys and I've got a little montage video at the end of some photos I took the other day and stuff. Um, not going to do a lot of hardcore crawl with this. This is mostly going to be like a trail rig and uh, uh, you know, this is kind of going to be a mall crawler now because I've got so much time invested in all this 3D stuff I've done on it. And honestly, I've got quite a bit of money invested in building this thing up. I've got my capper and my TRX4 Sport for kind of more hardcore crawling stuff. And I just wanted to build something, you know, real, more realistic and stuff like that and do some more custom work. Um, you know, I know I could go out and buy the uh, SCX3 now that's got all the scale stuff on it. But, you know, I, I love my Land Rover. The Land Rover Defender is one of my favorite vehicles of all time. So I kind of wanted to build this thing up just as a project for myself, have a little fun. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. You know, there's a lot more scale vehicles out there. But, uh, uh, you know, for my first go around, and if you guys don't know, I have really, I have really mentioned it a lot in videos, but I have really poor vision due to diabetes complications. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, little fine details hard for me, but I'm really proud of how this turned out. Um, I did have a little help from uh, some of the fine uh, touch-up paint work. Um, you know, my girlfriend helped me with, and my dad helped me with some of the decaling. Uh, he used to do decaling on ambulances and fire trucks professionally, so uh, he helped me a little bit out with that. But I think it turned out nice. I'm really happy with it. So let's take a look at it real quick. The way this video doesn't run too long, and if you guys want to know any more information about uh, any of this stuff, uh, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. And I was going to turn the overhead light on, but it just washes out and looks terrible. So hopefully this comes across all right. So up front, first off, we've got the hot racing uh, front bumper now there's obviously other bumpers out there that give you a little more coverage there's the camel style and all that i wanted something that was going to show off this front grill this is also the hot racing billet front grill it's an all metal grill uh with the kind of fine mesh insert here you can barely see it but you know you can kind of see the land rover decal back there still got the factory grill back there so you can, you can kind of see it i thought about maybe picking up the rc full drive radiators that look like fans back there i may still do that and paint those up we'll see i'm not really sure if that would really come through and be worth it this has the uh, trx4 light kit installed in it which i'll throw a battery in here in a second we'll take a look at what those look like i have uh, five millimeter leds installed in the bumper down here and in the back this actually comes with a nice little uh uh you know steering link guard down here kind of a brush guard right here uh, maybe you'll see it when i flip it over i've got rc4 drive uh um uh, gearbox covers on it don't really have any brass or anything on this one yet um you know like i said it's it's a pretty heavy rig i haven't exactly needed it i could probably deal with a little brass up front but you know it is what it is uh so we've got a new clear body obviously and we'll look at the paint from the side i got these uh china special raised uh defender logos so instead of actually having the uh you know just sticker it's actually got kind of a raised up uh, feature and everything like that and uh, i've actually already got a couple of scuffs on it you know no big deal but uh going around here so we painted this in uh tamiya gunmetal and then we actually painted all the details in uh like the door jams and stuff is painted in uh, uh hand brush tamiya matte black and then uh, also did kind of a body line around the top like a gutter guard and the top is painted in tamiya ps1 white so uh, that turned out really good. Left the clear windows. We haven't done a body yet on this truck. Um, I probably will at some point. I will tackle a body. Still kind of doing some more research on that and everything, but I definitely want to add a body and driver uh, to it at some point. Uh, got the rigid light bar on it that comes with the uh, Traxxas lighting kit. We have uh, all the 3D accessories on this are uh, uh, pretty much uh, Knight's uh, Customs from Shapeways. I'll leave a link in the description to all that. Got the uh, front uh, roll cage uh, bar on here. Got the uh, windshield wipers on here. Uh, the American, kind of set up American way. Did get those a little high, but you know, you live and you learn, but I still think they look okay. Those are held on by a couple of, uh, couple of small uh, two millimeter cap heads. Got the, and I need to do a little bit more touch up work on this, um, on the snorkel. Um, it's kind of coming off a little discolored with all the, you know, where I glued it and everything. Uh, but uh, we'll touch that up eventually. Got the Knight Customs insert on the sides. So you don't see the big opening. Got the uh, Knight's Customs um, front grill on it as well. Stock Traxxas roll cage. 
Have the uh, Knight Customs door hinges and door handles. I think those turned out well. Obviously, the TRX-4 is not ultra scale as far as its distance you know, right here, the fender is way too close to the door, so you can't actually put the twin door hinges up here, so you just have to put one. It's as close as you can get. It's not true to scale, but it works. We've got the, uh, I've got a set of Endura uh, Chinese knockoff bead locks. Do have all the screws here in the front, um, and then you've got six bolts in the back to lock the bead lock together. We're rolling a set of uh, BF Goodrich uh, uh, tires from Proline. Eventually, I might do some 4.3 tires to be a little more scale. In my opinion, these are a little big. You would never see a Land Rover with tires this big on it. Even though this is more like a one ninth scale, this is a really big tenth scale vehicle. The dimensions are more like a ninth scale. These would still be almost like a 39 inch tire. I'm sorry, they'd be more like a 42 inch tire on a on a one to one vehicle. You'd never see a Defender with that big a tire. So like a 4.3, I think, would be a little bit better. Uh, it's going to cost me some ground clearance and stuff, but I, I just think it's going to look better. Uh, we've got Yeah Racing diamond plate inserts here on the factory bars. You can't really see it, but I've got a Yeah Racing mirror inserts on the mirrors. Went ahead and instead of, like I said, left the windows uh, uh, clear, went ahead and did the... Uh, uh, hand painted the line, you know, the brakes in the uh, mirrors. Uh, that again with the Tamiya, uh, same uh, same Endura wheels out back here. Right here is the one thing I kind of screwed up on. So right here, this is the Yeah Racing diamond plate quarter covers back here in the back. This was actually supposed to be, um, this part right here was supposed to be the part that goes through the body. This top part was supposed to be in the body. I filed it a little wrong. I just, I messed up. It happens. So I had to glue it from the outside, got a little overage and actually kind of with filing and stuff, sort of, you can see the paint didn't turn out. I need to get a really fine tip brush. Uh, next time I'm at the hobby shop and try to get a really fine tip brush, I can go around this and maybe touch that up. Uh, but I, you know, from a distance, uh, if I get right up on it in 4K, yeah, you can see it. Uh, but at three feet, you can't even tell that. Stock jack back here. Um, I, I thought about, I think I'm going to maybe try to order one of the RC four wheel drive high lift jacks and see if I can get it in here. I think I can make it work with the screw right here. Uh, just cause I think that would be cool. Still was able to maintain the Land Rover decal back there. Kind of thought that was a little cool touch. Um, clear windows back here. Once again, the Land Rover raised decal got the yeah racing spare tire cover. Now this is not a tire back here. This is just a, a wheel with foam. Uh, on it and the spare tire curves so you can pop this off it takes a little force but that way it's a lot lighter it's a little smaller it looks a little more correct it doesn't look as stretched out um it cuts a little weight back here and everything like that so uh um you know i it looks like a spare tire, but it's not really a spare tire. Um, factory fuel cans. Uh, we did go ahead and do a little painting on them. I think just painting these tops and everything make it look a lot better. Uh, Night Customs actually has some uh, licensed roto packs uh, you can get for back here if you want to. Or you can take this all the way off and they actually have a full like gas can tr trunk mount uh, that's really cool. Uh, and you could do a ladder or something if you wanted to. Also, I got this big uh, kind of uh, CB style antenna here, you know, kind of the big off-road kind of antenna. Looks pretty cool, kind of. There was a uh, a hole there already in the hot racing rear bumper. Just had to kind of drill it out a little bit um, and make that work. Hot racing rear bumper, as I, as I said, with uh, got the shackles back here, uh, and it has uh, added in uh, tail lights in the uh, in the back. And these do, yeah, they, they're really tight, but the shackles are actually metal, and they do kind of kind of flip out. I think it'd be cool if I can make some small D rings that clipped, but you know, it's not really scale. Um, got the uh, it's a yeah racing hitch. I've actually got an RC four wheel drive uh, 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 low drop hitch on it. Because uh, this actually sets my trailer up a little high. Uh, sitting up there, I've got the uh, RC, uh, got the RC four wheel drive bivouac camping trailer uh, that I tow behind this. So, uh, you know, that's kind of fun to uh, to tow. And I did have to switch out the ball for the RC four wheel drive one. You're probably not going to be able to make it out real well right here, but I'll show it when I get it under. This has got the RC four wheel drive uh, gas tank and tailpipe on it. 
this is probably one of the most expensive scale accessories on this vehicle and it's something hardly anyone will notice but it makes me really happy to know that i've actually got the metal tail pipe and actual fuel tank under here uh so uh very nice install you, there's a reason you pay a lot of money for it uh once again the yeah uh, racing uh, quarter panel covers got a set of sand ladders uh, uh kind of strapped down there at the top i need to get i bought three different nets for the roof and none of them have fit properly like you'd have to pile stuff this high which i don't want to do um i've got a few scale accessories when i do the interior i may put some of them in the back um and uh you know probably uh, one of my friends she's her and her mom's gonna try to custom make me a net uh they do a lot of uh custom fabric work and stuff so they're gonna try to make me a net uh that will work got a uh, factory suspension on this coming around same you know same kind of stuff uh over here on this side really uh really nothing special uh to go on this side but uh let's go ahead and we'll uh we'll flip it over and take a look at what is underneath okay guys nothing really major under here to look at stock drive train like i said the only thing i've changed out is the uh is the rear axle covers and honestly, if you didn't look really hard for these, you would never, you would never notice them. These are actually the metal ones. They do say, you can't really make it out in this, uh, this lobby. but they do say, uh, D1, uh, D110 on them. Uh, I got these from, uh, RC four-wheel drive. This is the RC four-wheel drive, uh, rear fuel tank. Mounts in really nice back here in the back. Metal cover over this. Very sturdy, uh, plastic resin mm, excuse me resin uh tank back here and you could put like a lighting controller in it if you wanted to it is open up here at the top so it does have kind of like you i mean you could even put a receiver or something in there if you wanted to there's quite a bit of room in there um and then you have your uh your exhaust pipe that comes out now you can get this for the bronco or the blazer with dual exhaust but this is just the one that's made for the defender so all the fuel tanks are the same uh just different exhaust that comes out for each individual vehicle uh that rc four wheel drive um offers uh this kit for okay so cool so this is my radio i was talking about this is the gt3c this is normally a just what a lot of people call buggy radio or it's a normally would be a basic rtr upgrade you know three channels no big deal um, but, uh, receivers are cheap, you know, three channels, like I said, like 11 bucks, um, six channels, about 16 bucks and, uh, um, eight channels are like 25 bucks. So you're not going to beat that. Uh, but yeah, you don't get a lot of channels, but now that this is hacked, uh, with the PSX firmware, uh, this thing goes up to eight channels. You have sub trims up to 60 model memory, and I'm going to do a full video on a lot of these functions. So uh, uh, check out that if you're interested in this. I think if you were going to buy like the Fly's Guy GT5, I think you're crazy if you don't just get this. It's a hell of a lot more programmable. Uh, but let's take a look at it. So we'll, uh, we'll power it up. Let's go ahead and hit the power switch over here, and you'll see the lights flash, kind of signaling that it's on. Show you guys how this works here. So... So we've got steering, we've got right here, this is my high-low, high-low servo, front diff, rear diff, unlock, unlock, lock, lock, unlock, lock, all that good stuff. Uh, so uh, up here on the top, I've got my steering trim, throttle trim. Well, on an electric vehicle, you don't really need a throttle trim. It's useless because this isn't a gas or a nitro. So I programmed this as a dual rate. So like if your tracks is factory SC, yeah, you've got a, a, you know, training mode, all that, which you still got, but, you know, right here I've got it too. But I don't I don't just have 100%, 50%. I can go anywhere all the way down to I could get someone 10% throttle if they wanted. Uh, you know, I can drop it you know by one point values anywhere from zero to 100 percent throttle uh so you know that that's pretty cool so and up here i've got two inner buttons i've got one here and this scroll will act as an inner button too so that's what i've got my lights on so we'll go right here and we'll hit the uh so you know obviously we got our we got our uh turn this so it doesn't absolutely uh blind the blind the camera here but uh go ahead and hit our clear button Kind of see our lights, our lights power up here. Got our uh, got our headlights. Now up here we still have with the tracks. We still have our uh, you know our high low switch. I'll leave them on low here so it doesn't blind us. But we've got our uh, lights down here in the bumper. Got all that. 
we spin around here we've got our stock tail lights and then we actually have the tail lights in the bumper as well uh, so i think that looks uh looks pretty cool i would turn the lights off and show you guys but it just drowns the camera out like crazy and these are the camera dims these these are a lot brighter than they actually look uh you know right now uh don't have rock lights in here because i didn't think that was terribly scale i took the rock lights out of this kit and actually put them in my trx4 sport uh up there but yeah man i think this uh i think this turned out uh turned out pretty cool and like i said you know kind of that neat little add-on to be able to you know power up those lights you know on and off whenever you want to so cool hope you guys like it let me know what you think of the landy let's go ahead and uh roll in some uh roll in some footage Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Candy paint with the white on top Lambo doors or the woo-up drop If you busy plotting on what I got Kick in your door and swat you thought Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop Have price my whip, same price my watch Got no jumper but I ball a lot So you're stony, I do what I want Candy paint with the white on top Lambo doors or the woo-hoo up drop If you busy plotting on what I got Kick in your door and swat you thought Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop Half price my whip, same price my watch Got no jumper but I bought a lot So young stony, I do what I want Didn't know that was your girl when she gave me top Kicked her out the road, said thanks a lot Damn, I love paper like a Michael Scott I can do things that your man cannot yeah. Slab boy coming down, down, I'm hot, hot. Everybody say that I gotta be stopped Even though my final form ain't none of that I'm so ahead of you, how you comprehend what you ain't understanding Count a hundred bands and I watch your fannies Diamonds going crazy like they on the dance floor Got a lot of nothing I can handle Flavorless, whatever, you should try a sample Baby, I'm the boss like I'm Tony Dancer Everybody tryna tell me what I stand for But you know me, homie, you don't want war Ay. Candy paint with the white on top Lambo doors or the woo-wop drop If you busy plotting on what I got Kick in your door and swat you thought Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop Half price my whip, same price my watch Got no jumper but I ball a lot So young stony, I do what I want Candy paint with the white on top Lambo doors or the woo-wop drop If you busy plotting on what I got Kick in your door and swat you thought Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop Half price my whip, same price my watch Got no jumper but I ball a lot I'm young stony, I do what I want I've been rolling 20 years, hit the road Hit the switch, up a suicide door Damn. We already know you fed us, though If no mama wanna ride, then let go All these motherfuckers so far from me yeah. If your money funny, don't talk to me nah. I know they hate that you could offer me Take yeah. a second if you think about crossing me It lasts whatever, you should try a sample Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy. Catch you on the next one. Peace.